it's been announced that Disney Plus is coming to Switch. Actually, and a lot of other things. Yeah, and PlayStation 4, and Xbox, and PC, and Roku's, and I think Amazon Fire TVs, and a whole bunch that are trying to put it everywhere. Right. Uh, big news, though, that it comes to Switch, because Switch doesn't have many streaming services. Right. Uh, in fact, Hulu is it when it comes to on-demand, traditional on-demand. And even mm-hmm. then, Hulu has a live TV aspect. So it's also like a live TV thing you can do on... on uh, but maybe, you know, now that you think about it, maybe that's why we have Disney Plus because mm-hmm. Disney owns sixty percent of Hulu. Yeah. So obviously, oh, yeah. that that would make sense. Yeah. They they must be working together. Yeah. I, I suppose. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, I mean, it's weird too because literally, uh, Nintendo announced not too long ago they have a fourth theme park being built with Universal. So it's like they're building theme parks with Universal, Universal. but they're letting Disney yeah. streaming services and nobody else's, by the way. It'd be fine if they let everybody's on. Nobody else's. There's no Amazon. There's no Netflix. Yeah, and I, I'm still confused. No Crunchyroll. I'm still really confused. We on, have YouTube. On those. And Hulu. And now yeah. the other Disney one, yeah. Disney Plus. Yeah. Whenever it launches. They didn't give an announced date, uh, release date. Basically, Disney did a kind of a little, a little presentation today for Disney Plus. Uh, and they didn't say when it's coming. They just said it's coming before the end of the year. Uh, they said within the year, which with, we assume that means within this year, or maybe it means a year after the thing comes out. I don't know. It'll have every single Disney and Pixar movie. I don't know why they had to say and Pixar because Pixar is owned by Disney, so I, I whatever. But I think that's because they want to differentiate because they did say all rated R movies would go to Hulu, which they own like Touchstone and a few others, so that's like where the rated R movies would come from. So I mm-hmm. think maybe they're just... Maybe maybe think Pixar is such a big deal that it's worth mentioning on its own. Well, it, it, a lot of their, you know, more modern classic movies are Disney Pixar. Sure. Yeah. So I mean, it it makes the most sense to just not all of them. S- most of them. That's why I not said all most of them. Most of the ones that people think are good. Right. <laughs> that's that's yes. put a caveat yes. in there. Yes. There's a lot of Disney movies that come out. Right. But the ones that people like Toy Story coming out, like yeah, that pe- Pixar. I got some. Right. Pixar, everyone. Yeah, Disney was, Pixar. Was Frozen yeah, right. done by Pixar? I don't think Frozen no. was. I think no, Frozen I was think. back to their old traditional no, ways. No, I, I don't even think Frozen's Disney. Is it? I thought it was. You don't even think of Frozen's Disney? Oh, my gosh. I'm I'm literally. I, I don't even know who this man is. We grew up on Disney. And he, this man. I, I can't believe he even has to Google this right now. Maybe you should Disney this. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm gonna let the dead air go because I'm in shock. I'm I'm in such shock right now. I'm, we're just dead air in this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was only one of the biggest Disney movies to ever come out in the past decade because no, I know it's the biggest hit they have for had some, for some odd for reason. I don't know why shows. I had DreamWorks stuck in my head. Yeah, it was the biggest animated yeah. film they had ever yeah. had since like Toy yeah. Story one. Yeah, yeah. Like it was, yeah. huge. and that, that is, yep, that was straight Disney. It was not Disney. Yeah, Pixar. it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that was why it was a big deal because it was a return to their musicals, which they yeah. hadn't really been doing. Right. Um. They, you know, they basically they stopped once Pixar came back, came yeah. around. Like, oh, oh, we're yeah. not doing this anymore. Like, why? Yeah. I, everyone loved. Nobody stopped loving musicals. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I, hello, you guys had High School Musical. Oh God. And that was awesome. Prove that people like musicals. Yeah. Like. Lion King, like everyone likes the yeah. music. Like, why did you I, stop? I don't know. Don't get me wrong. The Pixar yeah. stuff is great, but you could have did both, and now yeah. you are doing both. Yes. So that's awesome. Yes. Um. Anyways, uh. So yeah, I'm I'm obviously excited. Uh. For those of you out there that might not care so much about the animated stuff, because you know maybe that's more towards your kids or more towards <sighs> like your, you know what you grew up with. Um. The, it's everything. So you're talking Star Wars is going to be on here. Yeah. Because those are all PG-13 and under. Yeah. Marvel's going to be Marvel, on here. Yeah. All PG-13 and under. Uh, they also said they're going to have at least five new movies uh, in the first year. Um, exclusive to the service. We don't know what those movies are. We're and, super assuming they're a Netflix style make something. Yeah. Um, some of them, we, I think we do know what they are. I think there's a couple of Marvel movies uh, they're making okay. that um, hmm. are non-traditional there's like also going to be like a show like one show is going to ha- be about loki or something like that oh, interesting i don't know that'd be cool um there's some stuff you got to pay attention to uh the the final season of the clone wars is going to be on there 
I so I thought they were also doing shows too. Yes, five yes. Movies, five Clone Wars is a show. No, no. Five. I thought it was five movies and five. Yes, shows. yes. Okay. Yes. So. I was just saying some of the right. ones that I remember gotcha, they announced gotcha, yeah, were, were going to be there. So, um, and they'll just expand upon that over time, like Netflix did. They're they're projecting something by by 2023, 2024 that they'll have something like 94 million people. That's their estimates. They don't know, obviously, but they assume that like that's the appeal, and that two thirds of that well, audience will be overseas. I mean, um. I mean, and, and that's I mean, not, you know, should we be surprised that two-thirds of the audience is overseas? Because Hulu isn't overseas. Hulu is literally North America exclusive. Yeah. I don't know. So, and who knows? Maybe Disney will be the key to unlocking that overseas, too. I don't know. Maybe. There's a lot of copyright laws to work around, especially when you have rated R stuff. And maybe that's why they're keeping it off here. Because, like, hey, we don't got to worry about it. PG-13 yeah. and another, right. the whole world lets, lets right. you watch that. Right, yeah, um, for sure. So, yeah, I think that's, I, I honestly, we've known that the Disney service was going to come, come for a while. Uh, this is why things like were getting canceled on Netflix, like the yeah. Marvel shows that upset some people. But yeah. and what sucks is yeah. the, those specific actors for those characters can never play again. Um, so it would have to be it, whenever the contract expires for those IPs, they have to reboot them. So that sucks that so they couldn't work mm-hmm. out something with Netflix to get those characters. Because that would have been a big, and you know, I don't even know if there would have been any money Netflix would have took for that. Because you know how no. much of the Netflix oh, yeah. audience that could have oh, pulled God, yeah. over. Oh, yeah. If you're like, oh, by the way, all these shows that we bought and paid for, Disney gave us billions, and uh, now they have them all. Oh, that's cool. Well, yeah. we just lost thirty million of our right. audience right. to Disney Plus. Yeah. Um, which they probably will lose anyway as soon as they're rebooted. But yeah, assuming they're good. Possible. Yeah, assuming right. they're good. Like as I say, Netflix has a now, reputation of making good shows. Now the so. thing is, is, there's enough money to hire writers away. <laughs> So, I I think if you are a writer, like a professional script writer out there, I think there has to be more jobs now than there's ever been. Oh yeah, I one surprise. I mean, it was it used to just be Hollywood. Yeah, pretty you much. need to be on cable TV or writing movies. Yeah. Um, occasionally you can get lucky, you know, get a job writing some stuff for Broadway, but that was always on the lesser end. Now it's like no, everywhere is making exclusive shows and movies, so like there's more jobs than ever. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, I guess it's maybe a good but, field to get into now. But as I mean, journalism goes away, if you could pull one of the comes fictional writing, <laughs> right, right. If you could pull in one of the the uh, producers and or big time writers of those Netflix shows, and kind of get the same feel. I don't know, but I don't think they want to do that. Because, remember, this is called Disney+. Plus. I think the first thing they're going to do is take one of their own big-name people and have them work on Possibly, something. Possibly, yeah. Because they, as awesome as Netflix is, Netflix has kind of an edge to it, right? They, they, mm-hmm. well, their content feels HBO-like. Yeah. Um, and HBO movies, HBO shows are some of the best around. I mean, heck, Game of Thrones, we have the final season. Uh, episode 1 just landed uh, yesterday by the time this is public. And that's, you know, that that's a massive, like, way more expensive than just an individual movie to make a whole season of Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Um, but it pulls in such a huge audience. Mm-hmm. And that's what happens with Netflix shows, and that's why so many of them can afford big budgets. And right. I don't know that Disney wants to go that far. We'll see. Yeah. But Disney, because you got to remember, Disney has, on like, they have the Disney Channel and Disney Junior. They already do their own movies and their own shows. You know, you hope that, yeah. you know, are, are they True. really going to do blockbuster movies on their service when they still do no, blockbuster movies in movie theaters? Saying, I wasn't saying, like, movies. I was saying for, like, the shows. But even that, like, I don't know. I, I guess it's just wait and see because we don't know. We haven't, right. they, they've right. never done this, I mean, so we don't know. I'm just excited to get all yeah. of my, you know. Childhood? Yeah. In one spot? Pretty much. Oh, by the way, guys, it's only six ninety nine a month. Oh, yeah, that's right. Disney yeah. um, decided to price this. Super competitive. Um, it's basically cheaper than getting HBO. And also, if you do the yearly, yeah, the yearly it's even thing, cheaper. It's, it's like cheaper five than, yeah. five eighty three or something yeah. for like for like seventy bucks a year. It's an insanely good deal if you like Disney's content. Yeah, and you want it available everywhere without having to pop in DVDs and movies. There's no reason not to have this, especially if you love Marvel and Star Wars everywhere. It'll be interesting. All the new movies will get added to it after a short period of time, like you know, hit the movie theaters and then like Endgame. Right. Endgame's probably going to be their day one. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. So we could, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it'd be interesting to see if they they do like the download stuff. Like they are, they're letting okay. you download it. Nice. Yep. They announced okay. they announced that from day one you'll be able to download everything. You won't have to. Because you, I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to. That'd be fantastic. You, you, Netflix lets you do it if you're at a certain subscription level. 
Mm-hmm. But they didn't let you do it right away. Disney's like, no, you don't even have to stream it. We're doing it. Or, or you're having a buffering problem? Just download it. Yeah. Come back in like a half hour. You're yeah. fine. Um, I mean, that'd be because that'd be awesome. You know, you going back, going to E3 and stuff. You know, if there's no good movies on the plane, well, I, I don't, don't think worry. It's not going to launch for E3. No, I know. But I bet you it won't be till the end of the year. But right, next right, year, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. yeah, if you want to download Or if you're traveling stuff. somewhere and they don't I, have yeah, good but here's on the thing. planes. We always fly Delta. I know. They got good And movies. they have, like, literally movies that are still in theaters. Yeah, pretty close, yeah. So, no, I know. I know. So, like, but, unless I've literally seen everything in theaters, I'd rather right. watch that than something no, I, I get it. Home. I get it. But It's and, better than and, hotel rooms. I mean, heck, sometimes they have Disney's For how much you pay for flights, them. it better be. Yeah, I know, right? Um, actually, what? flights are, uh, they've come down. They used to be way more expensive, mm-hmm. and then they came down, probably because they're just trying to get more people to fly. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it coming to Switch is a big deal because Switch doesn't have a lot of streaming services. But because yeah. Switch has Hulu, it's probably not as surprising. It is. It is interesting how uh, Nintendo successfully working with Disney and Universal at the same time. I, right. But again, right. it's on different avenues. It, yeah. I mean, Universal is yes. doing movies and theme parks for them, mm-hmm. and they're just like, hey, look, Universal doesn't have streaming services, so why do we care? Right. So maybe yeah. that's maybe they just don't see ma- yeah, any crossover. There. Right. Exactly. And maybe that's exactly. What well, maybe that, maybe that's why Netflix isn't there. Maybe because there is some Universal stuff on Netflix. Maybe, yeah. Uh, we never thought about that. Now, yeah. now, now we think we'll have two Disney streaming services, but nothing for anybody else besides YouTube. That's a bipartisan, you know. Right, and there's not. Oh, I suppose there's movies on there. Well, there there is, but they're but, but they're yeah, it's it's different. Right. Uh, so I don't know. I, I think it's interesting. I'm excited, and, I, and the fact that it's that it's, before it even comes out, it's already announced for Switch is just kind of like, huh. I never would have thought that, you know, a non-existent streaming service would come to the Switch before Netflix. I mean, I honestly think, as I said, there's something going on. There's something about this deal with Hulu that is preventing these things from coming. That we're not getting right. Netflix, not getting... I I wonder but, if there was a backdoor chuck, so, like check cut by Disney. We're like, hey, look, we know you work with Universal, like whatever. We don't care. Mm-hmm. We want... We want streaming services that are about modern day movies and stuff and shows exclusive to us and then and that's probably why we didn't get youtube right away either and then nintendo kind of a hey like we put we put our nintendo directs on youtube stuff like, yeah, we, right and they're just like yeah it's on youtube side we I mean, put you, stuff on youtube too right like exactly. people should be able to watch our latest trailers yeah. go to youtube like, right okay. right yeah, yeah so so that's how maybe but, how youtube got around it and you wonder if twitch might be able to get around it but then if twitch comes amazon's gonna want to bring amazon prime and disney's gonna be like hell no yeah how long before this? This is this is the one thing you have to think about. How long is it before Disney just pulls all their crap from everywhere else though, and you could only get it at Disney Plus? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Even it on Amazon, really you can't even buy me. it anymore on Amazon. You yeah, have to go to Disney. It Plus. really wouldn't surprise me. Um, Which they did well, say they were going to offer services to buy it though. Right. Except for the fact that if you've already bought the thing, so I don't. Well, know. yeah, yeah. They, they usually to, don't. They usually don't pull it back if you already bought it. Right. Um, but uh, oh god, I lost my question. It's okay. I just think it's crazy that uh, we're getting it. I think it's good news for. I mean, oh. any any additional yeah. streaming service at this point for Switch owners is good news. Right. We don't have anything else coming. Nothing else announced. So cool. Um, right. I, I thought of my question. So why is it then that it, the the whole back and forth between Nintendo and Netflix? Well, you know, Nintendo asked Netflix. Netflix asked Nintendo. Nintendo asked Netflix. Netflix has Nintendo. What, what's what's what the whole back and forth then? Why no would Netflix one, no just one say wants to, to throw the other one under admit, the bus? Yeah, I, I think that it's no one wants to burn bridges because you know e- even if there wasn't a backroom deal, because I'm just speculating. But even if there wasn't, like if there wasn't, then something's going on with contract negotiations, and no one wants to say anything. If there was They're a backdoor not. deal, then neither company wants to say anything because it might make the other company look bad. And, you know, that might sour future relations on future, you know, because the mm-hmm. contract probably wouldn't be forever. So, You're right. Um, and the thing is, Disney Plus is on everything. So I don't really know why they would be like, oh, but on Switch, you know, you can't have, like, why? Every other thing you're on has Netflix and everything. So right. it's weird. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with streaming services. All I know is we have another one to add to the list right. by the end of the year. Hey, I so, mean, fantastic. Um, cool. And it's cheap. Yeah, I mean, collectively, if you want to watch more than Disney, then you have another streaming service, then another streaming service, and by the time you're actually paying more than you ever paid for cable. So I understand some people are getting sick of these streaming services because there's getting so many of them that by the time you have everything you actually want to watch, you, might as well just pay for you cable. are already <laughs> spending like 100 bucks a month. I right. get it. Yeah. Trust me. I have Hulu, which includes my streaming TV, 
And that's like 40 bucks a month. I have Netflix, which is another, well, to keep up in the price, it's like 15 bucks a month now. So now I'm up to 55. Add this yeah. in here, I'm up 60, and I can have internet and cable from Charter for 60. So. Yeah. No. Granted, for like I don't a, get all the content for that like I want. like half a year. <laughs> and, 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 and this is on top of the fact that through Amazon, I'm paying for HBO, Stars, and now Nickelodeon, because Hulu doesn't have Nickelodeon, and Yuli is addicted to SpongeBob. Thank God it's like a dollar a month, so it's not a huge no. deal, but okay. still. <sighs> Anyways. Yeah, that's crazy.